Okay, start the computer up. Start tapping that delete key or whatever key you're using into your BIOS. All right, in the BIOS, now we're gonna start looking for where things are at. System info. Let's go down to plug-in devices. And as we can see, success right there. Boom, 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 boom. Recognizes both our drives. Bob's your uncle. Everything's good. So we know they've been inserted. We know that they're functional. And now we just move on to the next stage. Okay. Now, first and foremost, what I'm going to suggest doing is putting this back to default settings right because installing new drives it's a big thing and we're putting this in a raid configuration so i'm going to go over here i'm going to load optimize defaults yes and then just to make sure that got driven home i'm going to save and exit setup And then of course go back into the BIOS. We know the drives are there, we know it recognizes it, we know all that's good. Now we have to get it ready for our raid. Oh, didn't want easy mode. Na -na -na -na. Yeah, good. Who wants easy mode? I want advanced mode. <laughs> okay, so in the BIOS, basically we're going to go to settings reboot and then from settings we're going to go to IO ports press enter from here we're going to go to SATA configuration and then NVMe raid mode and enable this then we're going to go over to boot CSM support disable this And then we're going to save and exit setup. System's going to reboot. Start pressing delete and back in. So after the reboot, now we're back into the BIOS. We're going to go over to settings and from settings, we're going to go over to IO ports. And as you can see, RAID Expert 2 configuration utility appeared. We're going to go down there. Here, I will go to controller management and then rescan disks. As you can see, both drives are ready, so we will continue. We're going to go into physical disk management and select physical disk operations initialize this as you can see they're both disabled enabled enabled and then okay well there's nothing on these discs because they're brand new so I guess we're good to go nothing to save on them so we go continue and say yes and then we initialize oh Okay, and since they've been initialized, now I'm going to hit escape, and then we're going to go to array management, now that we've initialized the disks. And as you can see, there's only one option available, which is create array. Here we're going to select the RAID level we're going to go with, since this is just going to be the operating system, the OS, the obvious choice is RAID 1. Once you selected your RAID level, then go down to select physical disks. And you're going to select the disks that are going to be part of your array. 
or we could have just went to check all. <laughs> and now I'll apply changes. The rest of the settings you could leave alone. 256 is recommended. Leave it at that and we'll leave of course the read cache and the write back cache the same. Once that's been done, go down and select create array and enter. You can see that array one, RAID one is ready. And then we're gonna press F10 of course to save. Hit yes, and it will reboot again. Okay, so after the reboot, I'm gonna go into easy mode, just to easier to show. And as you can see, you don't see the drives because they're in RAID. So let's go back to advanced mode. We're gonna go over to settings, IO ports, back to RAID expert configuration utility, and then controller management, your controller information, I'll rescan this to make sure. Oh, excellent. Everything looks good. Raid one, raid run is ready. Okay, now that we've confirmed everything is good. As you can see, both physical drives are in there. Raid one and raid one is ready to go. Hit okay. I'm gonna hit escape a couple times. And it's gonna say quit without saving. We didn't make any changes. We were just verifying information. We know everything's in there. At this point, we're ready to do the operating system.